Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be sharing some tips on how you can take your own passport photos. So I actually didn't know you can take your own passport photo until last year in 2018 I had to get my passport renewed. So I went to my local CVS, got my pictures taken and I absolutely hated them. Oh my god they came out so bad. So I don't know about you guys but when it comes to ID photos I have the worst of luck. All my school IDs, work IDs, license photos, all are horrendous looking. And usually I don't care, but when it comes to a passport photo, you're stuck with it for 10 years. So if you're a person who travels a lot, you know that your passport is your everything. I do have a quick story time I'm going to be adding at the end of this video kind of funny but it's the reason why I try to get a decent passport photo so I'll have that at the end of this video if you're applying for your first passport or if you're going to get your passport renewed here's some tips on how you can take your own passport photo <music> Your passport photo will get denied if you don't have a white background or an off-white background. You cannot use a crazy color like this in your background, it has to be plain white. If you don't have a white wall in your home to take a photo in front of, go to the dollar store, get a white poster board, tape it on your wall, and take a photo in front of it. The photo will only be showing from here up, so it doesn't really matter, you just need a white little space to take your photo. <laughs> Your photo needs to have good lighting and what I mean by this is that I recommend that you take your photo during the day as opposed to taking it at night. During the day you get more natural light and you don't have shadows. With a photo at night it's going to have shadows and the photo will get denied. Also, whatever you choose to take your photo with, whether it's a phone, a point and shoot camera or a DSLR, you have to use flash. A photo that's taken without flash is a bit blurry. It doesn't show as much clarity, sharpness, and focus as opposed to a photo that is taken with flash. If you are going to be using your phone for the photos, definitely use the back camera when you're taking your photo and don't forget to use the flash. So as an option, there are passport photo apps that you can download on your phone that you can use to make this process a bit more easier for you if you would like. There are apps that require you to pay, but there are also apps that you can download for free. The free ones work just as well, so that's just another option for you guys if you would like to do that. You cannot take any selfies for your passport photo because last year when I was actually taking my own passport photos on the website it didn't state that you couldn't but I did take a variation of photos selfies on a tripod and I asked someone to take the photo of me and what I realized that the selfie photo did not align with the dimensions that is needed for a passport photo so now on the website today it says that you're not allowed to send selfie photos because it will get denied. I'm assuming many people did send them and that's why they made it very clear on the website. So whatever you do, do not take any selfie photos. Put your phone or your camera on a tripod or just ask someone to take the photo. So you're not allowed to wear any type of work uniform. I would recommend wearing something very neutral with no logos or crazy designs because it's only showing this and up. So it doesn't really matter what you're wearing. So I would definitely just stick to something neutral. You're not allowed to wear any headphones, hats, or glasses. So if you do wear glasses, you have to take them off for the photo. I think this is something new that they implemented on the guidelines because Last year I didn't see that on the website, but this year it says that you cannot take any photos with glasses. I'm assuming because of the glare, I'm not sure. If you do wear any sort of religious covering or hat, you are allowed to take a photo with it, but you also have to send a written statement with your application. When you're taking the photo, you have to be straight on. Do not do any side tilts trying to get your angle or whatever. Like, no, this isn't for Instagram. This is your passport. It has to be straight on. Now, when I went to CVS and wasted $15 on a passport photo I didn't use, they told me not to smile with my teeth showing. So I recommend not doing that, even though the website says you are allowed to do a natural, neutral smile showing your teeth. I wouldn't do it just because even here in New York, 
York at the DMV when you're gonna take your license photo they tell you not to smile with your teeth and just have like a neutral face you would just look straight into the camera and just do like a smirk like that's it <laughs> Now that you have your photo, you have to crop it at the right dimension. To do this, there is a tool that you can use that I have linked down below. You just upload your photo and it'll just align your photo to get the best dimension. But if you did use a passport photo app to take your photo, the dimensions are already set in the app. But I would definitely upload the photo to the website that I'm talking about that I have linked down below just in case because I'm paranoid and I would just want to double check if the dimensions are correct. <laughs> Now it's time to print your photo and before that I do want to mention do not photoshop facetune or alter your photo it will get denied so don't do anything to it and just print it the way it is. Now if you have a photo printer at home then printing your passport photo will be absolutely free. You just need high quality photo printing paper and you're good. But if you don't have a photo printer at home and you need to get it printed at your local CVS, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever you go to get your photos printed, I found a way where you can get your passport photo printed for less than a dollar. How I did this was taking the photo and putting it into a collage. Now you can do a collage of two, four, or six. You can use an app to do this or a website, but just making sure you keep the right dimensions. When you're uploading your passport photo, do not print it as a passport photo because you will be charged 13 to 15 dollars that's kind of the average range from all these places what you're gonna do is go to their print section the regular photo print section each place has a different price point so cvs can have nine cents per print while walgreens can have 35 cents per print usually deals on certain weeks or certain months so you just have to keep an eye out for it but usually it's gonna be less than a dollar. I do want to disclose that the tips in this video will only apply for US passports. I don't know the rules and regulations in other countries, but as of right now, these tips do apply. But just keep in mind that things can change over time. I hope you guys thought this video was helpful and I did promise you guys a quick story time at the end of this video, so here it is. All right, so I was 14 or 15 years old when this incident happened. But in my passport photo, I don't remember how old I was, but that photo was so bad. Like, I looked crazy. I'm rolling my eyes, I looked drunk or something. I don't know. I just remember hating seeing that passport photo. Anyways, so I was 14 or 15 years old when I was going on vacation with my dad to Colombia. That's where my parents are from. We get there and we go through customs. And I remember the guy who was checking my passport. He was pretty young. And he looks at my photo and says in Spanish, wow, they have really bad photographers in America. And I just probably turned red. I felt so embarrassed. Like he just kept going and making jokes. And I was just like, oh my God. He even showed it to like his friend. And I was like, oh my God, that is so embarrassing. And it was kind of like the running joke of that trip just because we took multiple flights within Colombia and every time my passport had to get checked, it was always like a remark and they were just making fun of that photo and yeah. And ever since then, I try to take a decent passport photo because of that experience. That's the story time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for my next video. Ciao!